the Berkshire Novices Chase is next. This is a two and a half mile Grade Two Novice Chase, and at the top we've got the Combat King for Joshua Sutherland. Who's also got the High Lord, a Centurion Lord for Jim Murray, Canaf Acres for Thomas Rogers, Lucky Ending David Hooley, School Doggery Pleasant Padre Hogan, Alien Captain Leon van Rensburg, Decadent Lady Jim Murray, Flying Force Leon van Rensburg, Free Form. Craig Beckwith, like Bossel, David Robertson, Saffa Cluster, Thomas Rogers, and Way Cross, or oh, Darren Thompson. So one or two horses in this with some pretty decent form. Should be a good one. And away we go. And once again, deja vu from the last race as a Jim Murray pair of greys were quickly to the form, but they've been usurped early on by Lake Bossel. And Lake Bossel is, it would seem, going to settle down in front. Long one to the first of 15 fences to be taken in this. Bustle and lead them into it. Stood off it but got over it really well. Slow jump by the Leon Van Rensburg horse alien captain. The rest of them were all tidy enough. Like Lake Bustle, like Bustle in fact. Gets to this ditch and gets over it nicely. And on the Combat King who's now jumped into second. And on the inside is Centurion Lord, Decadent Lady and the High Lord. And Alien Captain and Lucky Ending. Free form after that one as they get into the third. Uh, mistake at the back there by Flying Force. That's both Leons made a mistake in this race so far. Only jump three. This is the fourth. Uh, light muscle over it, clearing the lead. And the lucky Indian is now making a move on the outside to challenge for a second, but the Joshua Sullivan pair look like they're slightly ahead. Lake, light muscle is still in front as they come past the big screen, take the water jump. They're all safely over. And they'll swing left handed now with just one circuit of the track to go. And Light Bustle is in the lead by about four lengths to the High Lord and the Combat King together. And then a lucky ending after that one. And two Jim Murray horses are running together as well. Decadent Lady and Centurion Lord just trying to poke its head in between those two. His alien captain. Saffa Cluster in the green on the inside as they take the sixth. So they're all safely over. Lucky ending didn't jump it all that well. Flying forces after that, then Way Cross and Free Form. And finally, Canaf Acres is now the back marker. So they make their way to this next ditch. All safely over that one again. Novice is jumping well, not lost anybody yet. Like Bustle. It's four clear. Chased by two from the Sutherland Yard and two from the Murray Yard. But continues to lead David Robertson's light bustle. On the Combat King second as they take this plane one leader was a little bit slow over it. Lost a bit of ground in the air. The High Lord and the Combat King getting closer, so too decadent lady. Centurion Lord just dropped back a little bit with Alien Captain and Lucky Indian as they get over the tenth. And Lucky Indian's gone there, it made a couple of mistakes earlier on this time the jockey couldn't stay in the plate and he's shipped out the side door unseated rider and like bustle then on the inside but now be impressed by the high lord and the high lord might just about be in the lead then there from lake like, like bustle i keep going to call that lake bustle i don't know why then comes decadent lady back in third then the combat king and centurion lords after that one gap of a couple of lengths to alien captain and skullduggery pleasant Making a forward move, then Wade crosses again. That's a really good jump there by Light Bustle. Has seen it go back into a three length lead with the High Lord back in second. The Centurion Lord is third. Decadent Lady on the outside, four. Alien Captain is five. And then comes the Combat King and Wade Cross. Bit of a gap to School Duggery President. We can probably forget the others, I think. And we got four furlongs still to go. And it's Light Bustle then who's in the lead. There's four to jump. This is the fourth from home. And Light Bustle's over in the lead. Alien Captain looks a big danger now in second. Then Centurion. Lord the High Lord and Combat King the one that's really running on now well he's way cross over the third last that's the final ditch and it's still Light Bustle in front Light Bustle from Alien Captain in second these two are clear off Way Cross and Decadent Lady as they come down towards the final two fences in now and it's still Light Bustle Light Bustle gets over it nicely in the lead good jump though in second by Way Cross Decadent Lady still there Concentrion Lord is going back into it now Light Bustle is becoming to come under pressure and it's Way Cross who takes it up over the final fence but he's gone He's crashed out of it there and left Decadent Lady in the lead. And Decadent Lady's in front from Centurion Lord in second. The
come back king on the outside but it's going to be another one for Jim Murray I think because Decadent Lady is racing up towards the line he's going to take this one Decadent Lady's going to win it from the comeback king in second and the high lord and centurion lord like bustle up about an alien captain and three forwards called Dubbery Present and Sapphire Cluster and finally Cannaf Acres and the Darren Thompson horse looked like it had come through to win its race and it crashed out with a crashing fall at the last fence and Decadent Lady takes it so Decadent Lady for Jim Murray is the winner the Combat King for Joshua Sullivan second who also took third with the High Lord Centurion Lord for Jim Murray was fourth and like Bustle the long time leader for David Robertson was fifth